Hello Doraemons, welcome back. So for this video, I'm also back with the DCA questions which I informed in the last video itself. So in the last video, we saw like these three basic questions and in this video, we'll be going on with the next basic questions. So for the first one, I have this fourth problem where we have to like remove 7 and 56 from the given strings. So the basic approach you have in your mind might be you have to iterate through the entire list and then you have to just pop out 7 and if it is 56 you have to check the first character is 5 and the next character should be 6 and then you have to just pop it and it's a large like a lot of things to do but I have a very very simple solution for you which is the replace function which is available in string. So we are just going to do is yes is equal to yes dot replace. This is nothing but a function which is used to, to replace like a part of string to another like an empty space or even like some other elements you want. So basically this is the replace function and like here I'm going to just put replace of 56. We have to just replace 7 and 56. I'm going to replace the 56 with an empty space and I'm just going to pass this input. Let's check what we get. I'm going to just give the input over here and I'm just going to print the string for you. Print of S and now I'm just running it. Okay, so I've just given here of int of input. So let's remove that. Yes, so now as you can see the 56 got removed and we are going to do the same for 7 and then in every string which is passed inside if these two numbers are there they'll automatically get removed and the rest is a shot like this queen coder and I'm just going to try with another one input also just pasting it and I'm just running it now as you can see like it has found 7 and it has now given like TCS DCA rock and as you can see that this has exactly matched the output now we are moving on to the next question which is so for this problem what they have said is this input and output is like 10 and 7 what is basically is we have like two series odd series and the even series so we have to arrange like this like first we have to append the even series and then zero from the odd series and then the next number from the even series and then again one from the odd series and four from even series three from odd series and six from even series and five from odd series like this we have to make a series and they will give you a number we have to return the number in this respective position in the series and so this is basically what we have to do for this so like you have to generate like two different series and then you have to append both series so there is no other simple options to do that so we are just going to like do the same i'm going to just erase this part and here i'm just going to declare like two series is first so for that i'm going to declare two arrays one is k of zero so like one should have a zero in in itself because when we are doing the odd series we might have to start with one so we'll not be having a zero in the odd series so for that i'm going to just put zero in the k itself so for i in range of so first uh, this one will be the odd series so i'm going to start with one let's go with 50 I think that was more than enough and uh, I'm just going to increment it by 2 and we are going to make it append to the K series so K will be the odd series and we are going to do the same for the even series and this will be L and here I'm going to change it into 0. So now after this, we will have two series, which is the even series and the odd series. So I'm just going to print K and L. And let's see, I'll replace this. Like I'm just going to give 10 and I'm just going to run it. 
now we have the art series and also the event series so after this we are going to just append and blend them into a single series so i'm just going to declare one more array which is named s and here so we are going to append for i in oh let's go with some other for j in range of so for this range we can just consider yes like 20 elements is more than enough from those two series so here we are just going to append s dot append of k of j so this will start from zero to the respective number so this will be similar and again as dot append so first we have to append the even series and then the odd series so the first series will be l of j and the next one will be k of j and now let's print and see the yes and i'm just going to run it seems like we got an error so now let's just check what is it so actually have given the same name for s and yes here so i'm just going to change this name to su and here also we can change it to su so now let's run and see it yes so now we have the actual exact thing two one four three six five eight and now we are just going to print the respective number 10 like as you guys know in an array what happens usually is we'll be like printing um, it starts from 0 the indexing starts from 0 so if it is 10 we have to like consider 9 so I'm just going to give s u minus 1 and let's run and see it now we got 7 which is the output and now I'm just going to input 20 and let's see whether it outputs 17 yes so i did now we are just moving on to the next question which is this is uh like it is very confusing when you read the question so what they've asked is we have to perform the operations on string one and string two like they'll be giving you two strings which is morning and bring so you have to just see how many like uh changes needs to be done to change this morning to bring so basically what should be done we have to remove yum first and then we also have to remove yan and also like we have to remove and replace any one of them to b so this feels like a, a difficult operation to be done but it is really very simple to do what we have to do actually is we have to just compare the lengths of the string and then we have to just remove the extra words and the remaining words can be like converted to the required words so this is like basically the thing now what we are going to do basically is first we'll get the two inputs first so let's first declare the two inputs so just going to get yes one is equal to input and yes two is equal to input so first bus basically we have to consider their lengths and the length difference is the number of elements which needs to be removed first so i'm just declaring one array and checking if s2 length of s2 is greater than or we can say length one the first string is going to be having like extra thing so we have to just compare which is the greater one or which is the least one like that so just comparing if it is greater than then just we are going to separate them so r will be equal to len of s1 minus len of s2 and i'm just going to input three, these two morning and bring okay and now i'm just going to print the r So as you can see now 2 is already getting added because the morning is of length 
7 and bring is of length 5 so this is the basic change and now we have to compare like which all the characters match with them so now let's again I'm just going to append which are the elements which is same which are the character which is same so just iterating through them so if so I've just written the syntax to compare these two and I'm going to like declare a variable and like found how many characters are like same. So I'm just going to iterate the both strings and then I'm going to find only the number of characters which match. And then we'll get to know about the number of strings we need to change. So now let's declare one more variable like k is equal to 0 and I'm just going to append that k plus is equal to 1. Now we'll get to know like how many characters are similar between those two strings. So actually it has given 5. Seems like we have to check this because the thing won't be 5. Uh, and we also have to check maybe like there is two ends and that might be the reason that it got like um repeated twice so we have to let's just consider only like one if one is required then one like that we have to do some changes on this So like as you guys see, you can see in the bring itself, like you can see the yen is there and in the morning there is two ends. So we have to also consider this. So for that, what we are going to do is once like it founds an N, it should break from this loop of comparing this morning to the other ones. And then it should move on to the next uh, like character. So here I've just placed a break and then after here i've just given a continue so that it will move on to the next character in the string yes two so now we have like four characters matching comparing with the length we the bring is of length five and we have like four characters matching so we have to only do one change which can be added to r so now as you can see now what we are going to do is we are going to just put r is plus is equal to length of yes to minus k so now i'm just running it you can see three is the output so these three is the changes needs to be done and now let's this is the basic scenario which needs to be done so we have to just compare the lens first in the lens itself you will be getting whether if it is of equal length then um, this will return zero and like we have to find the matching characters then and uh, like the remaining should be replaced so this is the basic scenario of this solving this and now we are just moving on to the next question so next question is also same similar to like this like they'll be giving you uh, extra some letters and you have to like uh, pair them up like how many eyes can be used in India like this eye can be used in the front and also in the middle so like that but it is a very simple logic over here if like one character is repeated then you're going to just find the um, a number of repeated characters and then you're going to just add one to it as like also here like here this characters are getting repeated uh, you will give you like an string with repeated characters and the correct character so you have to just compare the length and you have to add one to them so that is the basic thing to this like if you are comparing everything with permutation it is going to take a long time but this method which I'm giving you is very simple and easy. So let's do that also. Actually, yes. So let me move on to the new one. And so here we're just going to get the two strings again. S1 is equal to input and S2 is equal to input. And we're just going to compare the lengths of the string. So for or if on the length of yes one is 
greater than len of s2 it's obviously going to be greater this we are going to just subtract the lens or we can directly like store the subtracted lens i'm just going to store it like this oh no just i'm going to give r over here itself so r is equal to length of s1 minus length of s2 so now r will have the reference in length print of r and i'm just going to pass these two strings indian and india indian Okay, now I'm just running it. You can see like three is the output already. So, but here with this go, so guys, there was a little change in the output. I just checked, and yeah, there is only two eyes here, and I'm also changed here. Now I got like two, but the output is just like if two eyes are there we can join them in a different manner like one eye and we can consider first we can consider indian with this eye and then after that we can consider with this eye and also here in this place we can consider so i'm just going to put plus one and run it you'll get three so the same will apply for this um, input and output also so let's replace and check it and I'm just going to give go. Yes. And that's it guys. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And I hope you like this. And I'll meet you in the next one. And all the best for your DZA exams. Comment down below like whichever you videos you want next. And this is your very own Code Dorimon signing off. Bye bye and cheers.